What's up, what's up, everybody? I'm Jack Slater, a.k.a. The Comic Outlaw. Yeah, and I'm back. Yeah, and we're doing Fantastic Four. 106, Ben is helpless. The torch is doomed. The invisible girl is powerless. And Reed, Reed Richards is the man to stop him. But how's he going to stop this energy-absorbing being that's having his way with New York City? We're going to find out as we jump back into the story. Reed is about to cure his friend Ben Grimm of his infliction of constantly being the thing since he can never turn human. He found a cure maybe in Crystal's DNA. And just when he's about to pull the lever, the final lever, in the midst of this experiment, the human torch busts in and says that Sue's in terrible danger from this energy absorbing being. But Reed is faced with a choice. He tells the human torch that he must use his powers in a much different way. Since they're in the middle of the experiment, he must freeze the entire room. That means the torch must take in all the heat and energy into his body in order to freeze and preserve things. That way he's not damaged mentally, nerve system. A lot of things would go wrong in this experiment. So the human torch uses his entire inner energy and he just pulls everything in. He literally pulls in the energy. And as he's absorbing it, he's beginning to realize that it's too much for him. He feels the limits of his power even test it more. He's at more than 100%. And he has to leave as the room starts to freeze completely over. Iceman style, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, he flies out and he's setting things on fire as he's passing by. That's how hot he's running. And he fires. And this is what I believe is his first supernova. The supernova is where he shoots off all his flame at once this is where i believe it first happened people argue about it but you know anyways the scientist and of course sue who's using her mental power and i love the way they um they do this later on how strong she is actually and of course she is strong but she does pass out and it leaves the scientist alone to just kind of see if he could reason with him and all of a sudden it throws a rock and reed just blocks it gets them out of the way and this is where uh reed starts to suspect something because he knows this man he's worked with him before and the cops are always yelling you know trying to get people out of the way because this creature is just blasting stuff at random there's no rhyme or reason to anything he's doing reed of course blocks another rock and this is where he gets the truth out of the scientist he's worked with him before he's dealt with him before he is a great scientist i believe his name is professor rambo but he's a sucky sucky liar so, Reed gets the truth out of him and he realizes that it's his son. He is actually building a machine that would um, absorb energy. Like a war machine, you know, absorb and redirect it. You know, peace through superior firepower and all that. You know, just a quicker way to end it. So this Sue was supposed to absorb and, you know, project energy. But something went wrong, there was a leak in. Uh, basically, the air went in and ignited everything. The suit absorbed all the energy. And now, he is just kind of going by primitive instinct. So, uh, they're trying to figure out a way to do this. And, of course, Johnny blew all his flame. That's why I think it's a supernova, because the same effect happens. Of course, Reed decides to stop him. And this is where Reed starts forming a plan. As he's trying to catch Johnny Storm. This is how fast Reed's mind works. He's able to dodge those things. His torch is coming in for a landing. Now torch is trying to ignite his powers. But like I said. He blew his entire flame. That's why I think it's the first supernova. But anyways. Going back to the story. He falls. He falls. Reed tries reaching for him. But he's distracted by the creature. And poof. He turns back into the torch. Yeah, I thought I'd let that hang out there for a bit, just to see what you say. And you too could learn super speed karate. Wah! Yeah, I love these classic ads. Getting back into it, the torch. Back, ready to fight. But Reed has another idea for him. He needs something from his lab. He needs one of his inventions. And he sends Johnny off to go get it. And this is where Reed decides that it's his turn to get in. It's his turn to rumble as Human Torch takes him to the Fantastic Four area as a Ben Grimm is frozen solid, waiting for his chance of redemption to become human again, maybe. 
And as this creature, the military is firing upon him, still absorbing energy, re turns himself into a bull. And basically, he's rubber, so it, it kind of makes sense that he has durability. But uh, yeah, he's smart enough to send him off to this concrete building that's real secure, you know, real thick walls that will take him some time to destroy it. He actually makes a little hole in himself, you know, in the ball, blows open the door, and dumps him off. I mean, you gotta admit. Reed knows how to use his powers. Reed uses his powers more scientifically than, let's say, a Plastic Man, but Plastic Man's powers are different, but well, people always compare those two, so I thought it would, you know, that or Ralph Dempsey. But anyways, the creature's coming. They got the machine ready. And this is where he's asking if Reed has anything left, because Reed's worn out. I mean, he is worn out. He's setting the machine, but Reed passes out. And now it's up to the doctor, Dr. Rambeau, to see if he can cure his son, Larry. And the machine starts to feed in the energy. It actually reverses the polarity. And he is back. He is back. Reed has saved the day. They figured out another way around it. They shake hands with Larry. They take the, they take the professor away who had a mild heart attack. And now... It's time to see if they could save Ben Grimm and see if he can handle the final change. Will he become human again? Will the experiment fail? Well, as always, we'll find out the next time. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.